Hello everyone, welcome to the new video. In this video, we are going to discuss the Merchant of Venice, Act 3, Scene 2. We have discussed the prior scenes in the former videos. In this scene, Bassanio will try his luck in the caskets. And this is one of the most important scene of the Merchant of Venice because the plot of the Bond story was done to reach this point where Bassanio was to try his luck in the caskets. So, the setting of the scene is in Belmont, a room in Portia's house where Bassanio, Gratiano, his attendants and Narisa and Portia, they all are there. In this scene, Portia and Bassani will be discussing and exchanging their feelings to each other. And after that, Portia will try that Bassani should stay for some while over there so that she may not lose him very early if he, loses, if he chooses the wrong casket. But Bassani is in hurry because he want to say that I must try my luck because he was not ready to wait. So, he tries his luck and obviously as known, he will choose the lead casket, not silver and gold and he will give the logic for that and that logic is based on the plot of appearance and reality. So, what appear is not real. So, this is the gist of the scene. So, and this is a very long scene. So, this will be made in uh, two, three videos. So, I will start this and we will complete it up to the lines 110. So, Portia says, I pray you Terry, pause a day or two. So, Portia is talking to Bassanio that I pray you, I request you to wait delay for a day, day or two before you hazard for in choosing wrong. So, before you take this hazard of the cascade and if you choose wrong, I lose your company. Therefore, forbear a while. Therefore, have patience for a while. There is something tells me, but it is not love. So, why I am saying so? Because there is something which is inspiring me, which is asking me to ask you that you should wait for some time, but that is not love for you. I would not lose you and you know yourself. Hate counsels not in such a quality. She asks Bassanio, she tells Bassanio that you know that it is not my love that is stopping you, but you must be aware that it is not the feeling of hate that asks you to stop someone. But lest you should not understand me well, and yet a maiden hath no tongue. So, Portia says that you must understand me well. It will not be good that you do not understand me. And a maiden do not have a voice and Portia is a maiden, so she do not have a voice means they are not eligible to talk, they were not supposed to talk more. But though I would detain you here some month or two before you venture for me, but I would ask you to stop over here for a month or two before you do this venture for me, for getting me. I could teach you how to choose the right. So, Portia is saying that if you stop for a month or two, I could give you a hint, I could give you a clue that how to choose the right casket. But then I am forced so I will never be. But I am bounded by the oath of my father, so I will never do that. So, Portia is in dilemma, what to do? So, may you miss me, but if you do, you will make me wish a sin. But if you choose a wrong casket, you will wish me to make a sin, a wrong thing that I have been forsworn. So, I am already forsworn. I have taken the oath. So, I am bounded by that. So, if you choose the wrong casket, it will ask me to do a sin. So, Portia is bewildered. Portia is in panic. She does not want that Bessenio goes and choose the wrong casket. Now, Portia says, Beshrew your eyes. They have overlooked me and divided me. So, Portia is saying that your eyes have bewitched me, they have created a magical effect on me. 
they have overlooked me overlooked in the Elizabethan age that was considered as the evil eye. So, Portia is saying that your eyes are creating a magical effect on me, they are they have overlooked me and they have divided me, one half of me is yours and the other half yours. So, I am divided into two parts, one the soul and the other body. So, my soul is yours, mine now I would say and my body is mine, I would say. But if mine, then yours. But if something is mine, then it is yours. And so all yours. So in this way, I am all yours. So these, oh these naughty times. So Portia says that these are very bad times, naughty times, bad times. Put bars between the owners and their rights. So I am the owner of my body and soul, but I cannot give my body and soul to one to whom I want to give because I am bounded by the oath because it is a naughty time, bad time. And so, though yours, not yours. So, I am yours, but not yours. So, prove it so, let fortune go to hell, for it is not I. So, I am yours, but not yours. So you have to prove it that I am yours. I speak too long, I have spoken too long, but this to peace this time. But I have this just to retard the time, just to pass the time, to ache it and to draw it out in length to stay you from election. So I am just speaking too much to stay you off from the election because Portia is worried that if Bessenio chooses the wrong casket, what will happen? Her heart will be broken because by heart she has accepted in the very first dialogue that she has given her heart and soul to the Bessenio and she is bounded by the oath of her father. Now Bessenio says, let me choose for I am, I live upon the rack. Now Bassanio says that let me choose, I will not stay for a while because uh, I am in a rack. He is feeling tortured, he is feeling, his feeling is of agony. So Portia says upon the rack Bassanio then confess what present there is mingled with your love. So if you are feeling tortured, I am stopping you and you are feeling tortured, that means your love is mingled with disloyalty. So what is that flavor of disloyalty you are having in your love? for me. So, Bessenio answers that none of that ugly treason of mistrust. So, nothing but a feeling of doubt, treason of mistrust, a feeling of doubt which makes me fear the enjoying of my love and that is that is making me fearful that I will not able, I will not be able to enjoy my love. There may be as well be amity and life, I ween snow and fire as treason and my love. So, Bessenio reconfirms it that there can there cannot be friendship and life between snow and fire. So, my love is pure. So, there is nothing like disloyalty and my love both these both cannot intermingle like snow and fire. So, they my love is pure to you that is what answered by Bessenio. So, Portia says hey but I fear you speak upon the rack where men were forced to speak anything. But Portia is having a doubt. She says that I feel that you are saying like this because I forced you to say like this. When men are tortured, they say anything. So that is what Portia says to Bassanio. But Bassanio said, promise my life and I will confess the truth. So Bassanio says, if you spare my life, means if you just promise me that your love will always remain with me. So, if you promise my life, then I will confess the truth, then I will tell the truth. Portia says, well, then confess and love. So, Portia says that, well, confess then. So, Portia wants Bassanio to say that he is in love with Portia. So, Bassanio now says that confess and love, these, the, the sum of these both words is my confession, that actually I confess that I love. But, I am getting tortured and the torturer means the Portia is telling how to get out of the torture. So, the torture is sweet, but let to be my fortune and the casket, but the torture is sweet, but I will try the casket, let me go to my fortune. This is the answer of Bassanio. So, when Bassanio says like this, curtains are drawn and Portia says, Away then I am locked 
in one of them. So, in this way, there was no delay for a month or so. Basenio goes in and try the cascades. So, Portia says that away, see there, I am logged in one of them. So, go ahead then and in the three cascades, I am I'm logged in any one of them. If you do love me, you will find me out and if you really love me, you will find me out where I am. Now, Portia describes what will be the scene, what will, in what situation Basenio will attempt his casket test. So, Narisa and the rest stand all aloof. So, Narisa and the other attendants will stand at a distance, aloof distance. Let music sound while he doth make his choice. And while Basenio will make his choice, music will be played. So, Persia orders her attendants to play the music. Why? There are two situations, if he loses and if he wins. So, first Persia explains what will happen if he loses. If he loses, he makes a swan-like end. So, if Basenio loses, he chooses the wrong casket. It will be the end of Basanio. So, that end should be like a swan. It was assumed that swan when uh, dies sings a song. So, Portia is asking a swan like death for Basanio. Fading in music that the comparison may stand upon proper my eyes shall be the stream. And the swan and the death of the swan is considered like when swan dies in a stream, it faded slowly, slowly. So, in this way, in fading music, Basani will fade away and the eyes of Persia will be like the stream. The river will flow out of the stream will flow out of the eyes of Persia. And watery deathbed for him. So, what will be provided to Basani? Watery deathbed. So, in this way, and watery deathbed will be provided by the tears of Persia, like the swan. So, Persia is asking a swan like death to Basani. The other case may be he may win. So, if he may win, what is the music then? Then music is even as the flourish when true subjects blow. If he wins, then it will be like the coronation of the king. So, the, his subjects will blow to him, to a new crowned monarch, such it is. So, then Basani will be like a new monarch. As are as those dulcet sound in the break of the day, and that music will be like the dulcet sound, like the pleasant music for Basani that creep into a dreaming bridegroom's ear. Now, Basanio is a bridegroom. So, that that will creep into the Basanio's ear, ear. So, that music will creep into the Basanio's ear. So, in this way, this music will be a marriage music and summon him to the marriage. So, that music will summon Basanio to the marriage because it is a ritual, it is a ceremony that a bridegroom there is a music in uh, near the bridegroom and then he is asked to come to the church. So, that ceremony will occur. So, either he will die like a swan or he will marry. So, in both the cases music is required. One in the first case the music will be required the fading music for the death of the swan and in other case uh, music will be required for the uh, marriage ceremony. Now, he goes. Now, Portia explain how will Basanio go and what will happen. Now, she correlates all the scene with the story of Hercules, Hassan and the mythological story. So, with no less presence, but with much more love. Now, Basanio goes with much more love than young Elsides. So, Basanio goes like Elsides, Hercules. And when he did rescind and when he moves, the virgin tribute paid by the howling Troy to the sea monster, I stand for sacrifice. Now, Portia explains the situation of the story that the women that are standing over here, this is a scene of a Troy and the women are standing over here, they are howling, they are crying and Bassanio is moving like the Hercules and I am here, virgin, standing over here to be sacrificed to the monster. So, there was a story that there was a monster in Troy uh, to which uh, every day a virgin is to be sacrificed and when a day came that the daughter of the king was to be sacrificed, then Hercules came and he fought with the uh, monster and he saved Hassan. So, in this way, now Persia is Hassan, Bassanio is Hercules, all the women are the women of Troy and they are howling and who is the monster? Obviously, the casket. So, to the sea monster, I stand for sacrifice. Now, Portia is standing there for the sacrifice. The rest aloof are the Dardanian wives and all standing over there are the Dardanian wives as explained in the story. So, they are all women 
of Troy with bleared visages, so with tearful, tearful faces, faces full of tears, come forth to view the issue of the exploit. So, they are viewing what will be the result of this. Go Hercules, live thou, I live with much more dismay. I view the fight then, how that mask the fray. So, Portia says that Hercules go and try your luck and if you live means if you win, I will live. And I am watching the outcome of the event with much more anxiety than you are watching. So, Portia says that the event in which you are going to participate, I am watching that event with much more anxiety than you are in. So, in this way, Portia ends her dialogue and then as Portia has ordered, the music is being played and Bassanio comments on the cascade and there is a background music. Music is regarding the origination of the love and the flourishing of love. So, these are the lines of the song that tell me where is fancy bread. So, the song is asking that tell me where the love is born or in the heart or in the head. So, there is a question in the song that love is born either in the heart or in the, ha or in the head. How begot, how nourished. So, how it born and how it nourished. Reply, reply. So, the question is being asked that who is going to answer? Reply, reply. Where is love born? Questions is about love. So, it is engendered in the eyes with grazing feet and fancy dyes in the cradle where it lies. Let us all ring fancy nail. It begin it. Ding dong bell, ding dong bell. So, in the song it is being said that it originates in the eyes, it thrives in the loving glances, it survives in the loving glances and it fades away in the eyes where it was born. So, let us mourn for the dying love and let us ring the funeral bell because the bell is being ring in the funeral. So, that is what the bell is singing ding dong bell, ding dong bell. So, this is the way the song is sung and meanwhile in the background the song is there. Bassanio start arguing about appearance and reality that which casket he is going to choose gold, silver or the lead. So, now Bassanio says Bassanio will give a logical proof that he is going to select the lead casket. He will give logic with the law, he will give logic with the religion, he will give logic with the bravery, courage, he will give logic with the beauty and after giving logic, he will prove that lead is the most suitable choice. So, that is a long dialogue of Bassanio. So, let us go on to the dialogue. So, may the outward show be least themselves. A book cannot be judged by the cover or external show has no real value. The word is still deceived with ornaments. So, the word is deceived by the appearance. The appearance is not true. It is the way with which Bassanio starts this speech. In law, what plea so tainted and corrupt, but being seasoned with a gracious voice. So, if we just consider the law, what happens? A plea, a petition, which is corrupt, untainted, which is not fair, a dishonest petition, may be seasoned, may be painted with a very gracious, very eloquent, very sweet voice. So, any dishonest case may be hidden by a very sweet voice. Obscures the show of the evil. So, that sweet voice will hide the evil of that case. So, what is the reality in the law? Appearance is not true because the reality is something else and appearance is eloquency. Eloquent voices hides the evil thought evil actions behind that. So, in religion, what damn error, but some sober bro. What will happen in religion? If there is some big error, blunder, what will happen? Some sober bro, some pious man will come and will bless and approve it with the text. They will come and they will approve that it is correct according to the scriptures. So, hiding the grossness with fair ornament. So, they will hide its blunder with a complete logic, fair ornamentation. There is no vice so simple but assumes some mark of virtue on its outward part. So, there is no wrongdoing that is so simple, but 
it somewhat in uh, is in some way it looks very virtuous and many coward whose hearts are as false as a stairs of sand there are many people who are not courageous they are coward but and their heart are like the sands means they do not have courage enough courage we are upon their chins the bread the beards of hercules so they are not courageous but they their appearance is very courageous they keep beards like hercules as if they are very strong men and frowning mars and they behave like frowning mars so they both are the symbols of the power hercules and frowning mars one of the one of the faces of mars is frowning who inward search have livers white as milk if they are searched in inwardly if they are searched properly it will be found that their livers are white in arabian age the seat of courage was not heart the seat of courage was liver so people used to say that if someone has a strong liver he is more courageous so if their liver is to be found that will be found almost white means having no courage but their appearance is like hercules or like frowning mars so here also in in case of courage the appearance is deceiving the reality and here assume but velour excretion so they just have a external show of courage to render render their redoubted so they they appear in such a way that they cannot be doubted now basanio gives one more example look on beauty and you shall see it is purchased by the weight and that can be purchased by the weight that can be purchased by the chemical beauty can be purchased in a chemical shop in a chemist shop which there on works a miracle in nature and which work like a miracle in nature making them lightest that we are most of it just take an example of hair so are those crisp snaky golden locks now hair looks like a golden locks they are beautiful like as if snakes are there which makes such wanton such lovely gambles with the sand they make very lovely movement with the wind upon supposed fairness often known to be the dowry of the second head but if they these hairs are actually wig of a person they are not real hairs if they are born in someone's head dowries second head so the skull that bred them in cephala so actually when the the skull in which this hair were born that skull lies in a tomb so hair also appearance is deceiving thus ornament is built on a gilded shore so appearance or the ornamentation is like a treacherous shore to the most dangerous sea treacherous shore to the most dangerous sea the bitacious scarf veiling an indian beauty a beautiful scarf may hide a black indian means red indian they are not very beautiful people so a scarf may hide that they are they will also look beautiful so that is what basanio is saying in a word the seeming truth which cunning times put on to entrap the wisest and in this way by this show of appearance the wisest people are also trapped therefore thou gaudi gold therefore that shining gold that 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 shining gold hard food for midas i will none of thee so even this gold cannot be digested by the midas so how can i digest it so by this all logic pisanio proves that appearance is not fair reality is not in appearance so gold is appearance how can pisanio choose the gold so thou gaudi gold hard food for midas i'll none of thee so even midas could not digest gold how can i digest that nor none of thee though pale and common drudge nor silver i can choose because that is a pale metal and that's a common metal for exchange between men and men so basanio rejects silver also on the same logic but thou meager lead now let us see about lead that is meager inferior that looks inferior which rather threatens and dost promise art so the casket of the lead do not promise anything it lead, it threatens that you will you will have to hazard everything the paleness moves me more than eloquence so the paleness of the lead the yellowness of the lead 
is more than the eloquence of that gold and silver. And here choose I joy to be the consequence. So here I choose the lead casket after all this logic because I am not going to choose the gold and the silver because they are based on the appearance and lead is based on the reality. So, Bessenio chooses reality rather than appearance. So, I choose to be the consequence. So, I choose the lead for my happiness. So, in this way Bessenio chooses the casket and he gives the logic and in this way the Bessenio casket the climax of the casket scene is almost reached because after this Porsche will be, will be very happy and Bessani will be very happy, but the scene is very long, it cannot be discussed in one video. So, we will discuss this in the next video. So, we have reached to the point that Bessani has selected the lead casket and he has given a sufficient, he has given a sufficient logic that lead is a reality, silver and gold are appearance. Prince of Morocco chose appearance, Prince Aragon chose appearance, Bessanio chose reality and that all scene was based on appearance and reality. So, thank you very much for being with me and watching this video. Thank you all.